On September 6, 1991, Brian Dyson gave a speech at Georgia Tech University. This is what he said. Imagine life as a game in which you're juggling five balls in the air. You can name them work, family, health, friends, and spirit. And you're keeping all of these things in the air. You will soon understand that work is like a rubber ball. If you drop it, it will bounce back. But the other four balls, family, health, friends, and spirit, they're made of glass. If you drop them, they'll be scoffed, damaged, and potentially even shattered. They will never be the same again. Burnout is a risk that too many of us take. Burnout is when we listen to others and not our own body. When we work hard for others without thinking of ourselves. When we give in to everyone else's demands, but not our own minds and bodies needs. We talk to others, but not ourselves. We make time for others, but don't make time for ourselves. Burnout means we outrun ourselves, we outdo ourselves, we outperform ourselves, but not in a good way. Testing your limits is good, but breaking yourself in the process isn't worth it. The way you know you're close to burnout is if everything starts to feel like a burden, feels heavy, and you start feeling frustrated at every little thing. Burnout is when we go out when we want to stay in. We stay up late when we want to go to bed early. A famous proverb states, you don't have to set yourself on fire to keep others warm. No one is thinking about you as much as you think they are. Eleanor Roosevelt said it best, you wouldn't worry so much about what others think of you if you realized how seldom they do. Jeff Foster teaches us, this is what he said, the word depressed can be spoken as deep rest. We can choose to view depression, not as a mental illness, but as a state of deep rest, a spiritual exhaustion that we ended up into when we're depressed, pressed down by the weight of the false self. He continued, the master the mind made story of me. We long to stop pretending and express our raw truth to give voice to our secret loneliness, our shame, our broken hearts, boredom and brilliant rage. There is no shame in your exhaustion, he says. We're all exhausted. Slow down today. Allow yourself to rest deeply and weep and breathe and begin again, he says. It contains the seeds of new life. The soul usually knows what to do to heal itself. He teaches us the challenge is to silence the ego. We can hear the song through our bodies if we stop the ego from drowning it out. We can hear the soul through our pain if we silence the mind. Burnout is when you're running and you just need to walk. It's when you're chasing and you just need to pause. It's when you're driving and you truly need to drop. It's when you're pushing when you need to stop. Don't judge yourself.